Hey, hey, what's up? Welcome to another episode with a good deal guy. I promised you guys I'm going to make you a video with V3 80 Pro camera. And I'm going to show you how all the settings and all the features of the camera on your phone. Okay, so before I jump into it, if you liked any of my videos in the past or if you like this video and it helped you set up your camera, make sure you hit the subscribe button in the bottom, okay? Thank you. So let's jump in real quick. I put the camera in the basement for a couple of reasons. One, it's daylight, but I want to show you the nighttime visions and how it works in nighttime and the lights and all that stuff. Also, for privacy reasons, I don't want maybe my neighbors don't want to be in the video, so I just put it downstairs for now. But I promise to show you all the features this camera offers, okay? Let's jump in. So the first one, if you actually touch the screen quick, guys, this is PTZ camera, so what that means, yeah, move this quick, it's pan, tilt, zoom. So you can zoom out. And you can zoom in. Super neat. Also, if you touch the screen here, you can tilt this to a full size, full screen. Okay, now in the bottom here, it says SD or HD. So you can actually change the quality if you like. It makes a little bit of difference. Let's go back. So you have the PTZ here. You push this and you can move the camera. So you can go to the right, you can go to the left. Or you can go up and down. Or I'm going to show you guys a little bit later how to put it on motion tracking. Let me move this quick here. So if there's something on your property, this will follow it 360 degree and you can see the video of what's going on. Okay. Now, the second one here on the, on the bottom says snapshot. You can actually take a picture. If you have something there you want to take a picture, you can take a picture and it saves it to your phone. Also, there's a microphone, there's a built-in microphone in the camera and on the app, obviously, so you can, it's a two-way voice. Hello? Hello? I don't know if you heard that there, but if there's somebody talking, I can hear them and they can hear me. So if I want to tell somebody to get off my property or if I want to talk to the kids outside or who, the delivery guy or whoever it might be, you can hold this button here and you can talk, okay? Also... One before the last one, you have recording. So you push this here, guys, and it actually starts recording, okay? I don't know if you can see it here. See, it's recording on top. I'm gonna move this here a little bit farther down. Anyway, so you can record as well. Now, if you jump down here real quick, it says more. There's an alarm on this camera, this is a siren. So if there's actually something, like you wanna put it in a shed, you can put it in a garage, and there's some, there, there's an area nobody's supposed to come in, if somebody shows up, it has an alarm. I don't know if you can hear it. So it's a good deterrent. Somebody's supposed not to be there. It's a good deterrent, right? Maybe you're not home. Maybe your neighbor's going to hear it. Now, the second one, it says light control. If you actually go to the light control, you can have it on, or you can have it off, or you can put it on auto. So when it's actually dark outside, the light will come on. Now, I'm going to show you this real quick. Let's go on auto quick. And I'm gonna turn off the lights here, guys. And the light should come on. Yes. So at night time, you have a full color night vision. Pretty cool. Now I'm gonna turn the lights on and the light's gonna go off again. Because they're on auto, right? So again, light control, you can off, on, or you can put them on auto. I put them on auto, so when it's nighttime, it turns on. Now, you can go to preset PTZ here quick. If you wanna, so what it means, there's different places that you can set. For example, I'm gonna push this here. There's one here, then I can move the camera and I can have another set place and another place that it checks all the time, okay? Back up. So if you have like a big backyard or if you have a garage and you have a big area, you can actually set your camera to check the area A, area B, and area C, and area D. So it's like a minute here, minute here, minute here, minute there. Super neat, okay? Now, back to the settings again. There is the image here, guys, and there's a motion tracking, sorry. Motion tracking, 
Again, you can leave it off or you can leave it on. So what that does, if there's an object, if there's a car, if there's a person coming to your driveway, if the motion tracking is on, it's going to follow it. Fairly simple. Go back. And you have your image here. Let's check it out. You want full color, you want auto, or you want black and white. Again, I leave it on auto, so when the image comes, it's easier, it's easier to see, I guess. Then you have your inversion. It's going to flip the picture. Because the way I set up my camera, I just set it up like this on the floor for the purpose of the video. When you put it outside, it's going to be the other way. So your picture is going to be upside down. So you use the inversion so you can see it normal, okay? And then you have your PTZ here in the bottom. It's for calibrating the PTZ. So if you push that, as you can see, it's going to calibrate itself and it stops in the center. So I'm going to let it do this thing. Now, I'm going to go out of here real quick, guys. Also, you have more right next to this is home. There's your cloud storage sign. There's also another thing. You push that quick. So you have a delete option. If you want to delete the camera, maybe you want to sell your camera, maybe you want to give it to a friend, or maybe you want to whatever, right? You can delete it. But you have to put your password to delete it, okay? Now, there's a share option here. View only or allow control. So I can put somebody else to also control the camera. So maybe you want to do that for your spouse. Maybe your boyfriend, maybe your girlfriend or your roommate, okay? So they can also use it, or you can leave them on view only. So they can only see it, but they cannot change the options, okay? I believe you can do that with a phone number or email. Super easy to set up. Cancel. Go back to the settings. Now, there's more settings here, guys. This was right here above when it says home and cloud storage. I go here, I go here, settings. There's more settings here. So you have you have your cloud storage settings if you have a if you are subscribed already. If you haven't subscribed, you can go there and check it out quick. It gives you your recording. Alarm recording, speed playback, security encryption. There's tons of features here. Like I have two of these cameras and I already have them subscribed, so you have AI detection. It's amazing. And it saves everything and lets you know if anything happened, right? Now, this is a place you can purchase your. Oops, I went up. This is a place you can purchase your uh, cloud storage. Okay, now go back here again. Settings. So you have your general settings. Let's dive in. It has a nickname and it has a device ID. I'll move this here real quick. So that's a device ID we saved. You can type it manually or you can take a picture or you can scan the code on the camera that's your device id okay go back network that's your wi-fi obviously password this is where you can change your password or you can share your password if you want to share your password with somebody else you can do that so they can log in like i said mom dad boyfriend girlfriend whatever right and you can change the device password also device time this one here you can see the device depends on the city you live in or your location. Obviously, you know your time zone. You can set that up. Because if you ever go on your camera and you want to see the time, if something happened, you don't want to see it at 4 o'clock in the morning. You want to see it actually exactly when it happened, right? So you want to set that time. Back. <clears throat> There's Fiverr version. This one here. If there's any update software, any any update for the software, it will show it here for you, and you can click it and update your software. Very simple. Now, you have alarm settings here, guys. Alarm, you can turn it on and off. Let me move this quick. You can have it on and off, so if something comes, the alarm goes off. Then you have your recording settings. Recording settings, again, you have two options, guys. With this camera, you can record everything on an SD card, if you like, or... You can record everything with the cloud storage, okay? I would always suggest cloud storage to my customers. I don't make any extra money if you buy a cloud storage or no, but with the cloud storage, it's a lot safer. It's a lot easier to reach. And with a memory card, sometimes you get distorted. Sometimes you get uh, corrupted. Sometimes it breaks. Sometimes it might get stolen. Never know. 
But it's a personal choice. It's whatever you like. It's not actually expensive. You can it's a couple of bucks a month. So it's very affordable. But again, it's up to you. Go back. Excuse me. So now recording setting. Now we have the PTC Auto Patrol. That's the one I was talking about. I made a mistake there. Sorry, guys. This one here, I can put on timing guard. Please set the timing first. Okay, so I'll go here. And I set stuff for 10 seconds or 10 minutes. Okay. And what I do, confirm. And then I do this one for 10 seconds. Confirm. Oops. Cancel. And I have, so what I do, I turn this on. Now watch. So you can set up different areas within a camera so you can check this area and then you can check this area and then you can check this area every five minutes or every 10 minutes. Very cool. That's what I like about PDZ cameras. Because sometimes you have motion detection and like let's say you have an area like you have trees or you have birds or there's cars coming by. So let's say if there's a car coming from here and going here and the camera's following it and that car is gone, now your camera is just facing this way. So for the rest of the day, it's going to sit there and this other car comes by, if that makes any sense. So meanwhile, you might miss in some action of what's going on. So with this, you can set it up to go like left or right or center in the, in the area. So that, if that makes any sense, it makes your life that much easier and you don't miss anything. Go back. Settings. And then you have your light settings. We already went over this one. It can be off. It can be on. Or... You can put timing lights. This is really cool. In here, you can set what time the light comes on and what time the light comes off. So maybe you want to set up between 8 o'clock at night to like 8 o'clock in the morning. If there's motion, the light comes on. Or you can leave it on all night. Okay? Go back. Oops. I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to go back. Okay. And then you have advanced settings. There's more to it. So you have your IP address here. You have the device voice prompt. And you have the language. This is actually really cool. English, Chinese. Okay. And then there's the honor settings. Go back. And I believe when I started this, in the beginning of the video, there's an option for the language too. So I believe they have Arabic, Portuguese, they have a few different languages. I'm not sure, but you have to check that again. Okay, and then reboot the camera. This is actually one of my favorite, favorite PTZ cameras. Uh, I definitely recommend it. I mean, there's only one downfall to it. This one is not wireless, like my TP-Link cameras, because my TP-Link cameras are my go-to. But I still have this one at home too, right? So I still have two of these. One for the front, one for the back, because it has a, a very wide range. So I can see the, see the whole street, what's going on. Even a couple of doors down to the left and a couple of doors down to the right. And it's PTZ, right? So if anything comes, it moves. But I'm going to leave you guys a link for a couple of good PTZ cameras here as well. If you haven't bought one and if you're thinking about buying one, use my links. Those are my affiliate links and they're the best sellers. If you have any question, guys, if this helped you set up your cameras and if you like the video or any of my videos, please, please make sure to hit that subscribe button support my channel and if you have any questions please feel free leave a leave a comment and i will get back to you thank you so much for watching